don't have a clear shot, but did that kill her? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, time to run. What the hell? How'd you get down here? She must have glitched. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back everybody to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming. And I'm down in the mine as you can see here. Uh, mining up a bunch of iron. We are almost out of fuel uh, for the jackhammer. I still have a couple of um, uh, repair kits left. So I'm just, I figured I'd just go until we run out of, of fuel and then we'll be done. I'm hoping we'll have around... Uh, 2,000. Uh, yep, same old stuff. We see that all the time. Uh, around 2,000 iron uh, to take back up with us. So, let's see. We have uh, found a coal pocket, which is fantastic down here. Um, there is tungsten. Sorry about the lag. I'm, I'm just fighting the lag left and right here. Uh, but there's tungsten, or I'm sorry, not tungsten, titanium all over the place down here. It, it uses the same texture as, as lead. And I don't want to lose this, so I've been trying to prop some of it up so that it doesn't break. But I don't really want to do mine a whole lot of that right now until we can use the Valkyrie. Um, and, you know, I have been mining some of it, though. We might have enough to... Oh, crap, I missed that. Uh, we might have enough to um, make uh, an another advanced repair kit. Now, I do have one advanced repair kit that I'm sitting on, and I'm not sure if we're going to need it for anything else. Um, if we, if I can determine that, then we can just use that to repair the Valkyrie. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's, uh, let's finish up the mining here, um, until we run out of gas and then we'll head up topside and get started with all the fun stuff planned for today, which is basically going to be, uh, to work on the Deshong Tower Uh, you know, get started on, on restoring the tower, which, of course, is going to happen in many, many episodes. Okay, item needs repairs. Let's go ahead and repair it. And we have a little bit of fuel left, so we might as well just use it all up. There's resources, man, all over the place down here. It's wonderful. Just about out. There we go. Okay. Now we're, we can hardly move. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just mining the crap out of this place, as you can see. And, uh, you know, we'll just keep keep at it and go f further out as needed. Uh, I want to, you know, I've been wanting to just get into a crap ton of stone, too, but there's been so much iron in this spot that we need that as well. So we've been getting that. Okay, so this is our final uh, takeaway. So look, good. We have a little over 2,000 iron ore, which is great. We have 21 titanium and then some stone and some clay and some other stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to get, here to where we can reach that and that and then we're just going to take everything except for these extra crates and then just kind of leapfrog it all uh here let's just yeah that works uh over to the ladder and that's pretty much our little system here we're getting all of this stuff over to the ladder and up the ladder whoops My leg is still broken. In fact, I've rebroke the leg jumping down the hay stacks uh, before earlier before I started the the playthrough here. So, yeah, fun stuff. Got to love those broken legs. Okay. Now we can get on the ladder and grab all of this and take it up. 
I'm going to probably just have a perpetual broken leg from now on because I don't have time to baby it. <laughs> oh, we got some friends up here. Okay, let's... Let's get all of that in there. And let's deal with our friends. You especially. Whoops, get out of here. You need to die so you don't scream and call even more in. Does sound like there's a few Zekers out there. Including another screamy. Off at your head. Off at your head. Yeah, this little floor thing's kind of a pain in the ass down here. I'm going to have to do something about that. Another screamy. Screamers are only allowed in my game under one condition. That they're decapitated. As long as they don't have a head, I don't mind them being here. But if they have a head, they're not allowed. That's just the way it is. You know, I could actually probably apply that rule to all the rest of the zombies, too. Okay, I still hear a screamer out there. And we got an incoming... Arlene. Okay, let's go see if we can hunt that other screamer down because I don't want her... I don't want her around. I heard her. I just don't know exactly where she's at. So everybody be very, very quiet. She's... Okay, she's over that way. Let's see if we can put her out of our misery. Our mine is kind of that direction, so that's why she's going to be over there. I don't, I don't know if the zombs have breached anything on the surface to start digging down because that one, that one screamer that was there when we I first started the episode, she glitched through. She just fell right through the earth. I don't have a clear shot, but. Did that kill her? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, time to run. I should have waited until I had a clear shot. That's what I should have done. All right, let's get the shotgun out. Some nasty zombos there, man. All right, little friend time. Hey, oh, I was gonna say, did you glitch through? Tough sons of bitches. Holy crap, Ola. <laughs> you gotta love living in the wasteland, baby. Yes, indeed. There's still another screamer out there. Okay, let's see if we can kill her this time without activating her. And I can't get to the... Whoa, lag. I'm trying to get to the thingy here. It popped up. For, there we go. All right. Wonderful loot. Oh, shit. You scared me, Marlene. Don't do that. Here, let's go look out the window here. Man, we really cranked up the heat map, didn't we? Holy Moses. Where's she at? She's inside of the Nita car. And is there two of them? No, there's just some Edgar, it looks like, inside with her. Okay. Let's see if we can do a little bit better job. You know, we probably should do this, too. That's probably a good idea. All right. Let's see if we can take her out this time without um, screwing up. Or shot. Oh, is, it, is that another screamer up there? It is. Oh, man. How many screamers did we call in? I don't think that... Uh, did that kill her? She's not standing back up. Yeah, we must have got her. Okay. 
Oh, okay, that one just fell down from up above. Needs to get over to where we have a good shot. Say goodnight, Gracie. Oh, did that that didn't kill her. Did it? Yeah, it did. Okay. Now, let's just listen for a second and see if we can hear any more screamers wandering around. Quit your belly aching. All right, so our mine... Oh, look, they even breached right through here. Yeah, we should probably think about fixing that. Uh, but anyway, our mine's right about here-ish in this area. Why don't we go over to the car place and make sure they haven't actually breached through and starting digging down, because if they have, we'll patch it up. I'm not really seeing anything over here. I don't think our mine's this far over. Pretty sure it isn't. It's it's kind of like right around in that area. Have we ever looked at these? No, we haven't. Nice. We'll take some books. Whoops. Oh. Uh, I've done, I think I've done this POI. Maybe not this specific building, but I have done this POI before. And it looks like those are probably opened chests, so maybe this is the one we did. It was quite some time ago. There we go. Oh, we'll scrap that and keep the rest of that stuff. Yeah, this this has all been looted, so we've already been in here. I can't I can't pick those up, unfortunately. That'd be cool to have those as storage chests. Yeah, we can pick this up though. All right. Anyway, we're not uh, we're not here to loot and stuff. We are here to do a building episode. So let's get to it, man. Uh, but we do need to patch that. So that'll be. Something we'll take care of right away. Uh, you guys were, or one of you guys was asking me in the comments to get the horde base ready to go before working on the Deshong Tower. But dude, horde base, or horde night's not until 84. We have three more days. Trust me, I will have it ready to go before the, the next horde night. It will happen. Uh, but I don't want to do that today. Not going to happen today. All right, so let's grab all the stuff here. And head on up top side. If we're lucky, our leg might be healed by the end of this episode. <laughs> but I don't think so. I don't have time for it, man. We're just going to grit through the the pain, man. I wonder if we get points for pain tolerance for that. I got, I had a little collapse thump me in the head down in the mind before I started the recording, and I got a point of pain tolerance for that, so... All right, put everything in there. Um, can we ac actually broadcast this? Oh, you look at that. That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Uh huh, uh huh. All right. Iron is the first order of business. Let's just put a crap ton of wood scraps in there. And anything that makes iron from ore. We're cooking up. Look at that. Almost 1,200 ingots. That's going to come in handy, but we're going to need every bit of it. Trust me. We will. Okay, so let's see. Where is that other advanced repair kit? It is somewhere. I have it somewhere. Where's that? Right here. All right, let's look at this thing. Does this require... What else requires this? I know we needed it for to upgrade this workstation. Does this one require it 
does not. Okay. That's already tier three. Um, this is tier three. This doesn't need to be upgraded. This needs to be upgraded to tier two, but it doesn't require an advanced repair kit. What about the artisan's table? It Apparently, we don't upgrade that anymore. Okay. And the mechanic's table also is fully upgraded. Beautiful. All right. I don't think anything else needs the advanced repair kit. So, um, do we know how to make an advanced repair kit? Is that something we would do in here? I think we do know how to make it, actually. Let's do repair. Yeah. Uh, we just need titanium. Now, I'm not sure how many plates and rods and all that kind of stuff we can make, but we should investigate that. All right, so let's cr craft up as many titanium ingots as we can. And then it looks like we make the plates in here too, right? No, those are glass plates. Okay, so we probably make that stuff in here. Titanium. So titanium plates take two ingots and titanium... Uh, Wrap? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on. Cancel this for a minute. To make the scrap, do we just straight up scrap the ore? We Okay. Looks like that's what we need to do. So we need 15 scrap and two plates to upgrade this station. Or no, not, I'm sorry, not to upgrade the station, to make an advanced repair kit. We have everything else. Ooh, military fiber. That's a, a pretty rare commodity as well. Um, did we learn the thing that allows us to make military fiber? We have not, but we could research it. Okay, we're going to need a, to find another beaker. To research military fiber, we need... Oh, we have everything we need except for a beaker. Okay. That needs to be prioritized because we're going to need those to make these advanced repair kits. Um, now, we're also going to, excuse me, need 15 scrap to upgrade this in addition to 100 steel plating. So let's try a little experiment. How much scrap do we get when we scrap one of these? We get five. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. So let's... um. scrap two more of those and that will give us the, the scrap that we need to upgrade this uh whoops not that upgrade this and then we just have to you know get the steel which we will we'll be able to get once all that stuff is finished smelting and then we should get this upgraded to tier three today that is the plan stan it's a beautiful thing uh okay anyway let's um let's do stuff so we're gonna put that scrap in there uh we'll, let's go ahead and grab the Valkyrie drill and repair it. Uh, well, actually, hold, hold on, hold on. We can repair this in here with just scrap. That's way cheaper than using a repair kit because it takes 20 scrap and other things just to make this. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait a minute. Is it saying... Oh, we only need two! Nice! Okay. That's even better. I was thinking... I was reading it as we need a 20. Oh, dudes. Upgrading this to tier 3 is the best thing we've ever done in this playthrough. <laughs> not net, not the best thing, but well, well worth it. Okay. Fantastic. All right. So you know what that means. We're going to start using the Valkyrie drill. Now, what's the, what's the durability on this? It is 1564 versus... 2212. So the only downside is this is really going to wear out quickly, but man, it, we're going to be able to just tear through everything with this. Um, and, you know, we'll just have to come back up here more frequently to repair it because I'm not going to do a repair kit. Forget about that. I mean, maybe even in the future, it might be worth it to make two of these and bring one down there to repair, but nah, not, not definitely not going to happen right now. Okay, fantastic. Ah, that is awesome. Okay, so yeah, we've got a lot of smelting here to do. 
Um, let's see, 24 minutes and 29 minutes. That's good enough. I don't really care so much about the scrap. So we can't really do much else until that's done as far as, you know, using steel and making the other things we need to make. So what that means is we're going to put this back in here and just sit on it for now. And I'm going to actually sit on the titanium for now, too. Let's just hang on to that. And we will put the jackhammer away, and the Valkyrie drill is now our, our tool for mining. Fantastic. All right, let's take one of these. And I cooked a bunch more of those, too, so we have... 13 there in total. Let's put half of them in here. And we'll put the cans and... Uh, no, not those. Cans and jars going to go in here. It's looking good, guys. It is looking good. Uh, we'll put those up there. And let's keep a couple of these on our person just so we have them in case I forget to do that. And we go down to the mine and start drilling and we don't have gasoline in our Valkyrie drill. That would suck. All right, now, we have some concrete somewhere. Where is it at? Right here. So we, oh, wait, hold on. We got a few more things to put away here first. So, um, there's more of, can I, I probably can't grab all of that and walk, can I? I can. Yeah, okay, because we already used up all the iron. So let's put stuff in there. That can go in there. That can go there. That can go in there. Um, clothing and armor, we'll put that in there. Uh, that we're just going to scrap. I don't care about the... Uh, about the brown dye in it. Those can go in there. Radiators can go in there. If you're wondering why I'm not scrapping the radiators, it's because we actually need them to make some of the engine parts and stuff. So that's why I'm hanging on to a portion of those anyways. That can go in there, and I have the, the coffee for mining, but we don't need to carry it here. Let's uh, Actually, we're not thirsty, so let's just hang on to that for now, and we'll drink it later. Axe will need to be repaired, but we'll be able to do all of that stuff once we get you know, some steel made up. And then this we can scrap, and we got some stuff in there too. Roberta, we're just hanging on to Roberta for now. fan friggin' tastic Okay. Let us grab um, concrete and concrete blocks. I think if there's something else I want to grab, too. No, that's probably good for now. All right, first thing we're going to go do is go back down. Oh, man. You know what? Let's take the ladder down. We're, we're three minutes out from our leg being healed. Let's not risk it. Uh, so let's go back down, and we will fix that breach in the building. I want to, you know, one of the things that I want to do is I want to make sure we do a good job of maintaining the bottom of this tower. I don't, I don't want to let it go, because if we, if we ignore it, it will eventually really get in bad shape, and that could cause problems down the road, right? Um, so, so we want to keep up on that. This thing's going to need a little bit of repairing, too. And I'm also going to, you know, do something about that front door as well. There's just a million things to do, you know, so we'll get to it as we get to it. Let's put these down here. And... I guess, yeah, what the hell. Let's do a copy shape and a copy rotation, and we'll put that back in there too. So yeah, we just want to maintain the integrity of the bottom of the tower here for obvious reasons. Oh, okay, we got to breach through here. Now, the thing is, though, is it's not necessarily a bad thing to have a couple of openings because, you know, that way... It, they can get through here because what we really want them to do is we want them to come to us here so we can kill them. 
right? So maybe we should make sure that we do, in fact, have a couple of openings that they can get through. And we do have that one there. I might be a little more intentional, uh, uh, intentional, intentional about, about those openings, spacing them out more evenly, that sort of thing. But yeah, we should do that. So that being the case... Why don't we go ahead and actually bust this out? Well, not with that. And let this be another opening for them to come in from this side. That's 5,000, that's 3,000. Here, we'll bust it out here. Holy crap, that's 10,000. All right. So they're just taking this out in the first place. There we go. All right. So now they have a spot on this side. They have a spot on this side. They have the front door on that side. And I patched the other side, which I should have left open. But I didn't think about that until after I had already patched it. So it is what it is. Chances are very good that they'll probably bust a new hole in on this side at some point. And when they do, we'll just let them keep that hole. So I'm not seeing any other spots that are majorly damaged on this side of the building. All right, cool. So that takes care of that. Um, let's just kind of touch up these pillars here because these are very important for, you know, the overall structural integrity of the building. One minute, 42 seconds left on my broken leg. I'm not helping it by sprinting. Okay, so that looks good. We want all of these corners and pillars to stay in, in good condition. And we might in the future, as resource, you know, as we have the resources and whatnot, I might upgrade the first three layers of these to steel too, just to make them even that much more stronger. Okay, that pillar is looking good. We can touch that up a little bit. They started breaking this out a little bit, but I'd rather have the entrance to be more kind of towards the center. That we need a little bit of steel to fix, but it's in very, very good shape, so I'm not really worried about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 53 seconds on the leg. Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape down here. I'm not uh, seeing anything else that's severely damaged that we need to worry about. We have to come back down here and get this upgraded, uh, repaired and upgraded. Now... Man, 10,000 frickin' hit points. Is this... Okay, I think I know what we're gonna do here. Let's take this out. It's not absolutely painful with the Valkyrie drill. Hmm. Okay. Can we? Uh, no, we can't do what I thought we were going to be able to do. But what if we just do that? It's a little bit. I mean, we have a little bit of a boop there, but it's it's better than it was. That way we can b back up without falling down in that hole and screwing up. Okay, I think that'll work for now. I might. Someday later, remove. I mean, we could remove these, t this front one here too. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that's good enough for now. I think that's good enough for now. Okay, let's go back up top side. I don't have anything there, do I? And see how we're doing on our iron smelting. 54 seconds left on the broken leg. Oh no, the broken leg's fixed. Okay, we're good. I'm looking at the that buff we have for whatever whatever gave it to us. I can't even remember. Some of you guys were asking me in the comments about if I'm planning on putting the elevator in this shaft. The answer is no. The elevator will be outside and going up the side of the building. I'm not even sure, A, if the elevator could fit in here, and even if it could, um, it would take a million bazillion years to remove all of the crap out of here. Well, not a million bazillion, but some time to move all the crap out here to get it to fit. So it, it, I, I'm planning on doing that outside. Uh, the other reason for that too is that, you know, we, we can then bring our vehicles up to the top of the building 
And so, of course, we need to be able to get to it from the outside. All right, we're getting close. Uh, again, we can't really do much until all of this gets smelted because then we're going to have to convert a decent amount of that into uh, steel to do some of the things we need to do. So let's do this. Let's go over to our artisan table. And how many concrete blocks can we currently make? We can make 146. Why don't we make 100? Because I don't want to burn up all of the concrete. But speaking of burning up concrete, let's get some concrete going too. We, we should be able to do that. So, excuse me, uh, we'll go here and let's grab all of that and start making stone powder with the stone that we currently have. Now we want to get sand and clay. There's sand. Wait, do we need clay? No, we need cement. Oh, right, okay. Hmm. I wonder if it's time for us to start thinking about making another forge that's dedicated to making cement. You know, I think our tier one forge could do that now that I think about it. Let's put that stuff back in there for the moment. Did I keep the tier one forge? If I did, it would probably be in here. No, I didn't because, oh, never mind. That's right. We upgrade now. We don't keep the old ones and upgrade new ones. I forgot all about that. Okay, so how much would it cost for us to make just a tier one forge? I think we would probably do that in here. Uh, not even forge. I mean furnace. Easy peasy. Are we? Do we really not have three duct tape? We don't. Okay. That's not a problem. We can make duct tape. Let's grab half of our glue and all of our cloth. And... Oh, that would you... Okay, yeah, I didn't need to do that. Let's just make 40. I still sometimes forget that I don't need to pull stuff out of the containers because of the wireless. Here, let's grab all of this stuff and put it away. Most of that's going to go into here. All right, I'm going to cancel that for a second because we need some of those stones to make that forge or furnace. I'm, I'm almost positive that we can make concrete in here, or cement, rather, in here. Um, how much, well, okay, how much would it cost to make the, the tier two? Furnace. I think we have to do that in, where do we have to do that in? In here? No, I think we just, I don't remember. Here, let's go here. Tier two. Oh, no, again, I keep forgetting. We have to upgrade it. <laughs> Oh, for Pete's sake, can't take me anywhere. Okay. So, yeah, let's craft craft it in Artisan's table. Oh. Oh, you know what? The Artisan table's not going to be able to reach from here. Uh, okay, so that means we're going to have to get all the stuff in our inventory. So, uh, let's pin this. We need 10 of these. We need 10 of these. When I do our permanent arrangement up here, I'll make sure that we can, you know, everything can reach everything. Um, so this is just a, a temporary concession here. Three of those, and we're good. Okay, so let's have the artisan's table make that furnace. We might straight up upgrade it too if it's not too terribly expensive. And then that way we can have this dedicated to making cement, because boy, are we going to need cement like there's no frickin' tomorrow, man. That's just all there is to it. Now we'll get this back to going on stone powder. All right, so... Uh, I don't think we have any actual cement cement. 
that we haven't already used. Because if we did it, it would be, or at least it should be in there. Sometimes I put stuff in the wrong place, so... Uh, case in point, that is no, those don't go in there, OG. They go in here. All of that stuff can go in there. Yeah, how are we doing over here? We got about eight minutes left for all that stuff to finish smelting. Very good. Very good indeed. Um, all right, guys. So let's see. Where do we want to start our repairs? That's the place I'm tentatively planning on actually living. So our, having our kitchen and our bedroom and stuff. So I guess it kind of makes sense to start on this side. This is really going to be a lot of work. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Um, so the next question then that I need to answer for myself is we want to start at the outer corner and build it up. Uh, or do we kind of start from this side and build out that way? I think it makes more sense to start from this side and build out that way. The second question is, do I want to go all the way down there and start from the bottom down there and build up? Or do I want to get our floor done first so we can finish moving in and then work on the rest of that later? The danger of doing that is <laughs> I might get everything nice and neat up here and say, ah, screw it. We don't need to build the rest of that. And that's not the deal. The deal is we're building this whole thing. So... Based upon that, I think we should start at the bottom and build up and restore this whole corner of the building. And then we got to do the other corner. The other corner's actually even more destroyed than this one. Uh, so that's going to be even more work. But this one's more important to us because of the fact that this is, you are kind of living more on this side. All right, so that's decided. That means we got to go all the way down to the first whole floor and start restoring and building up from there. Okay. All right, now that we know that, um, now that we know that, we are going to end this episode. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. You're probably going, no, don't end it. But yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're out of time here. Uh, so I am, what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna stop this recording and then start it right back up to start the next episode and we're going to start right where we left off okay um and i am working hard to get you guys an episode um well we, i've been able to get one out every other day i'm going to keep trying to do that uh for you uh every other day for now um and you know keep them coming more frequently because i know that you guys in, uh, like that and i appreciate that you like that too it's just that i've got a lot of other stuff going on both in real life uh, and on the channel um on a personal level I am just really thoroughly enjoying Farming Simulator and even Gold Rush for that matter. I've kind of gotten into simulator games, which, you know, is kind of a new genre for me. And so, you know, I have to balance playing what I love to play and what I'm really into with the needs of the channel, too. And, th and that's not to say I'm, I'm not enjoying Undead Legacy. I very much am. I, I still am just, I'm, you know, enjoying this game or in this mod in particular like crazy. And, you know, I'll probably never stop playing Seven Days to Die anyways uh, for that matter but i'm just trying to explain to you why you know what's going on and why i'm so busy with other things uh and then i've got a lot of stuff going on in real life too um not with me personally but with other people in my family medical issues um my brother-in-law is on his way out um he's been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and he's not going to last long so my wife's visiting him in oregon and i haven't seen her in over a month and you know like i said just a lot of shit going on in real life you know and all that contributes to how quickly, you know, I can get these episodes out. But we will keep striving for every other day for now and uh, definitely plan to keep it going. All right, guys, enough said. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.